Solana has some of the most partnerships out of any blockchain, which should come at no surprise considering how fast the settlement of transactions is. 400 milliseconds per block. So as long as companies are willing to put up with somewhat of a centralized blockchain, Solana is a very viable solution for them. The following research was conducted by those investors and I in our weekly live research sessions. We tried to uncover some of the most noteworthy Solana partnerships. I'm sure each and every one of you is currently using Brave Browsers. I know I am receiving that free basic attention tokens every time I do anything. They also just have um, VPNs. You can use a VPN directly from Brave, so fantastic. Highly recommend you use Brave. Not sponsored. Brave's goal is to make Web3 accessible to all. Our privacy first browser and browser native crypto wallet will offer an easy Web3 on-ramp for crypto novices and a robust suite of Web3 tools for advanced users. Brave's deep integration with the Solana blockchain, first announced in November of 2021, will make it easier for those new to crypto to onboard to Web3 and increase utility for more seasoned users. Solana has some of the lowest gas fees and fastest performance on any blockchain. By integrating with Solana, Brave and Brave Wallet is expanding multi-chain support and possibilities for all users. So yeah, allowing Brave users to send and receive and store Solana and Solana tokens directly in Brave wallets. We also bridged our BAT token onto the Solana network, making it an SPL token that users can leverage in the Solana ecosystem. Second partnership is Circle. USDC for Solana is now available on mainnet, and Circle will bring comprehensive support for Solana across its suite of platforms, services, and APIs. Circle. The company is something I want to invest into as a stock market investment so badly it's not even funny. They make moves all the time. So this partnership with USDC looks like it's just implementing USDC to be native on Solana's network. They do this all the time. They're, they have native coins on a lot of networks, so not something too special in my opinion. Discord, we looked into their partnership with Discord a little bit earlier. Okay, Solana's partnership with Google. Google had its hands on blockchain technology even before it announced its partnership with Solana. Let's look at this. Solana unveils Google partnership, smartphones, Web3 store at Breakpoint. During the ecosystem's annual gathering at Breakpoint 2022 in Lisbon, Solana made a series of launch announcements as it prepares to go mainstream. You look like Mike Hawk. Who is that? I appreciate it, I think. Okay. While explaining the process of building a Solana store, Norby announced the launch of Geo NFTs, non-fungible token implementations that allow users to geotag an area in their city. If you have a Geo NFT, you can redeem it one for one with the exclusive rights to open a Solana store in that region. With Geo NFTs, Solana aims to empower solopreneurs solo entrepreneurs that wish to get into business. So I'm presuming they want to get into the metaverse with it. Solana smartphones available for pre-order in early 2023. It's made for the people, said the Solana mobile team, while announcing the launch of its upcoming smartphones. There is yet to be an official date for its availability. Its differentiating feature of the Solana phone lies in its ability to securely store the private keys of the crypto wallets. The Solana smartphone will be powered by a Qualcomm chipset, makes sense given the CEO used to work for Qualcomm, supporting an ARM-based SOC, allowing for higher productivity. Okay, here we go, here we go. This is what we came on this website for. This is why we're here. Google Cloud is soon to become a Solana node validator. Now, Google already made the announcement on Twitter, so this article must be a little bit older. While the above announcement marks a series milestone for Solana, the ecosystem's partnership with Google Cloud evidently stole the limelight. Based on the information, Google Cloud is building a block producing Solana validator to participate in and validate the network. Google Cloud's blockchain node engine, which was first announced on October 27th, will feature the Solana chain from 2023. The integration will allow users to launch a dedicated Solana node in the cloud. That's really cool. Additionally, Google Cloud will index Solana data and bring it to BigQuery. Whoa, a fully managed serverless data warehouse by next year, making it easier for Solana developers to access historical data. That's really cool. That's a really cool announcement. 
like to, to bring Solana's network and data onto something like BigQuery. If you don't know, BigQuery is, um, what, it's like a giant data warehouse for, for data scientists to come and conduct massive queries across anything really. You can upload your own data set into it, and I'm talking like millions of data points. Picture a giant Excel sheet and you're doing a VLOOKUP function, but instead of having like 1,000 lines on the Excel sheet, you have 10 million lines on an Excel sheet. That's oversimplifying it, but like that's a good explanation. Again, kind of centralizes Solana a little bit to Google Cloud, right? If Google Cloud is operating nodes and are allowing other people to operate nodes on the cloud hosted by Google, then it becomes reliant on Google Cloud to some degree. That partnered with 33% of the stake going to Fire Dancer. Yeah, we'll just leave it at that. We got Jump, which we've gone over. Lola Palooza, I don't want to look into. Magic Eden is their NFT marketplace. Meta, Step In, we all know, and Stripe. Stripe is a payment system, so I'm assuming that they just allow Solana through Stripe. I want to look into the Meta partnership. Meta's Instagram to support NFTs from Ethereum, Polygon, and Solana. Thank you so much for being here with me, you guys. Your time is your most valuable asset, so I hope you felt this was a worthy investment. I will see you guys, those investors, in the next video.